so let's we start with the polymers and polymers having one of the uh, important concern and that is the regarding the elastomers so we can say the different elastomers are available and uh, whatever the different elastomers rubbers in case that is the natural rubber and uh, the synthetic rubbers natural rubber obtained from the naturally from the plants and those are the special plant and that is the hevia whatever the rubber plants so here with the rubber plant the rubber sap the milk of rubber plant and that is used for the preparation of rubbers so that are the natural rubber now we have the other parts are the synthetic rubbers natural rubber is the polymer of isoprene isoprene is the one three butadiene structure where the at the two position uh, at the two position methyl group is there so today we discuss about the what are the polymers and how we get the natural polymers in which the rubber natural rubber we get the natural rubber and then the synthetic rubbers so all of you know about the polymers polymers are the many unit of the different unsaturated organic compounds the very well known example is the polythene polyethylene carbon double bond carbon is there in ethylene and that undergo the process of the polymerization and gives the polyethylene polyethylene what over the polythene polythene polyethylene polyethene are there so similarly in case of the any of the natural uh, polymers the examples are number of natural polymers including the proteins fats and carbohydrate natural uh, polymers are obtained from the either plants or animals so here uh, we can say uh, that particular the Uh, whatever we can see synthetic rubber synthetic rubbers are synthesized in the laboratory with the help of different um, com- compounds they may be addition whatever addition polymers means the one monomer unit combined with the another and only one type of monomer unit is there in case of the addition polymer may be there in case of the synthetic rubbers uh, two or more monomers are there and they combine with each other uh, two monomers the example for example in case of the buna s rubber that is styrene butadiene rubber so two monomers are used and that one uh, in the form of the copolymers copolymers uh, means uh, where one a and then b two different polymers or two or more b uh, maybe about three or four may be there so in case of the rubbers there are the addition polymers and copolymers so let's uh, uh, first of all uh, why with this presentation is there here because of the rubber and elastomers are the essential for the different technologies number of elastomers are used in different for example in if for uh, we have to see the vacuum technology so tightness itself is because of the gasket so we have to use the elastomers and rubber and those rubbers and elastomers at may be of the high temperature may be of the high pressure so at that high temperature and uh, high pressure the elastomers remains there 
so uh, different technologies what were from robots for the space research and uh, automobiles uh, we need certainly certain elastomers whatever those are the uh, generally rubbers so many of the technology uh, the part of uh, rubber is one of the essential and the functional functional value of that rubber must be there even in automobiles whatever the tires and tubes they are special characterized uh, characterized uh, rubbers are to be used all of you know about the tire and tube in which case the tire and one is the tube is there so tube less tires are also there so something uh, that it can be relates with the uh, elastomers and that we have the rubber and natural rubber as well as the synthetic rubber even in some cases what over the space research but the radiation effect that is also important concern so any of the technology we need the uh, our to our Register the different electromagnetic regist, uh, radiations, uh, so and by which uh, the product, uh, the rubber, uh, the durability, the life of that particular component may be increased. So this is our objective uh, to understand the polymerization mechanism and behavior of uh, such reactions, the copolymerization, the addition reaction. So. addition polymerization copolymerization and condensation polymerization and how the bond is breakdown and then how that will be the form in the linear linkage or the cross knitting linkage so the hardness uh, even uh, the example is the vulcanization of the natural rubber in which the what we have the polyisoprene natural rubber so in case of the natural rubber that come the harden the process is the vulcanization so in case of the vulcanization of natural rubber we have to see the cross linking with the sulfur so sulfur compounds are added sulfur is added and in natural rubber and the process is the hardening of that particular rubber so how that become the hard and what is the life of that what is the durability of that particular hard rubber and uh, is there any possibility to get the flexibility in by different additives so that is also most of the important concern in the uh, value added technologies in the civil engineering in the automobile engineering the case is the vehicle the speed of the vehicle can be increased with the enhanced functional properties of the tire tube tire tube that is the rubber pneumatic tire so the capability of that particular pneumatic tire to achieve the high speed whatever there may be the very high speed so in for example in case of the uh, air jet fighter so wheel and that is wheel is directly proportionate with the polymer and that is the elastomer that is the rubber so rubber get hardening rubber whatever the functional properties of those uh, heavy duty a uh, heavy speed because uh, so there is the essential part uh, is the polymerization what polymer is to be used and what additives are added and uh, either we can uh, change the that particular different uh, <coughs> mechan uh, different mechanism by which the functional products are to be there functional why because of the conditions requirement in case of the space research whatever if suppose we have uh, whatever the space research the various vehicles running so that is the uh, whatever the radiation resistant uh, polymers and in which the rubbers are the important part so we have to see the mechanism what were. so here uh, what do you means by the polymers there is the very simple definition poly means many unit and mer means the repeating unit why do repeating unit and why this uh, polymers are there those polymers uh, on the ground of the uh, carbon and organic and inorganic that be the two type inorganic polymers and um, uh, organic but just uh, we have to <coughs> come towards the most advanced technologies and that are uh, 
related with the organic polymers. So repeating units, uh, for example, ethylene and for example, vinyl uh, chloride or vinyl acetate. So vinyl chloride undergo the repetition, then we get the polyvinyl chloride, PVC. In case of the ethylene, we get the polyethylene. So the naturally uh, polymers, whatever those are also existed in nature, and those can be synthesized very great chemistry with the help of uh, their innovation, their ideas, and we get at this moment a number of technologies are covered with the um, reliability of the polymers. The why reliability? But because they can combat with the uh, the thing is there, they combat with the required functions. So even what are the requirement functions? High temperature, um, whatever the radiations, whatever the climatic conditions, those are also important, relevant with the component of any of the technology. So polymers are many units. Polymers are the macromolecule, which is formed by joining of repeating structural unit on the large scale. So this is what we are to concern about the rubbers. So there is also those are the polymers and repeating unit. I have earlier discussed about the natural rubber. The repeating units are the 2-methyl 1,3-butadiene, that is the isoprene. So isoprene is the structural repeating unit for the uh, natural rubber. And when uh, one more thing is there, repeating structure, these repeating structural units, and those are very specified. Uh, specified means the unsaturation is there in those particular monomer units. Why unsaturation? Because uh, that particular unsaturation undergo the uh, the bonding uh, bond is the breakdown, and so there is the calculation for the carbon, and that is one great uh, property of carbon is the catenation. So by that unsaturation, the double bond, so the pi bond will be breakdown. And definitely we get the particular, the single bond, and uh, we get the polymers. So polymers are important in uh, uh, different technologies, whatever those particular technologies may be. Uh, even I have discussed the space research. We want to go to uh, the different planets, or whatever that is uh, more sufficiently and uh, use of the polymer. So polymers have the great value in the different research work. Now, we can say uh, the polymerization. Polymerization, this is one of the process in which the polymers are formed. How polymers are formed? That is the very simple technique and very hard technique, very complex techniques that depends on the what monomers we are using. So there may, may be the systematic arrangement of repetition of those particular unit. If suppose we have the thread, a cotton thread, then we can get the, the like a, a design of that particular thread. For example, if suppose uh, lamp, uh, incandescent bulb in which the tungsten wire. So tungsten wire, that is the design of that particular tungsten wire by, by which they remain as the filament at high temperature. So the design part and how we get the design in particular specific uh, polymerization reactions. So what we, we have to also uh, relates with the polymerization. The polymerization is the process in which the polymers are formed from the respective monomer unit. Unit uh, may be a monomer, may be of one, monomer may be two or more of the monomer example one monomer for example poly uh, ethylene ch2 double bond ch2 in another case we have the ch2 double bond ch chlorine so that is the vinyl chloride that is the monomer then there may be the repeat uh, various uh, uh, relevance of the ethylene derivatives hydrogen atoms are substituted with the ch3 one side so that become the Propylene and isomer and then polymerization of propylene leads with the uh, whatever we can say uh, leads uh, with the uh, polymer and that is the polypropylene. 
polypropylene, polyethylene. That is a very simple compound and but great achievement in the, our life. Those are the uh, out of the all polymers, 50% polymers are polyethylene and polypropylene. So that is the packaging concern and we got the uh, definitely we have to sustain um, with the help of such uh, miracle polymers, polythene, one of the miracle in our life, or polypropylene, one of the miracle, one of the PVC, whatever the miracle uh, material in our, uh, for human sustainability. So polymers are one of the uh, very high value added uh, uh, material or maybe the compound maybe what were the resin what were the plastic all those the concern of the polymer in case of the elastomer uh, different uh, synthetic polymer rubbers are there why uh, synthetic rubbers those are invented during the second world war the second world war 1939 1945 so during that second world war whatever the world war whole war is there the uh, uh, whole world is separated into two groups so because of the world war and uh, group is separated into two groups the different countries so the natural rubber at that moment was uh, obtained from the a natural plant in 1939 to 1945. So during that, it was the essential to develop, to find the value addition in natural rubber and uh, that may be synthetic rubber. So during that period, different uh, synthetic rubbers were investigated, invented. So whatever we can say, the 1,3-butadiene is the structure. So poly, 1,3-butadiene and that is the in presence of sodium. So that is the buna uh, uh, concern and buna S, buna N. So different butylene rubbers. 1,3-butadiene. Uh, 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 so two uh, double bonds are there in case of the butadiene and then they undergo the process of the polymerization. So whatever the uh, we have to discuss uh, we can say that we must be know about the functions of the, the what are the structure of that monomers used. Because of that, we can say uh, here the polymerization. So synthetic rubber, we can say one more uh, relevant is the classification and based on the structure because the structures are the most important concern. Here, three different uh, classes are there where we can say the whether the linear polymerization, whether the branched, whether the cross-linked, because of the cross-linking, we get the hard one, or we get the strength in that particular uh, polymer in particular, elastomer in particular, rubber. So we have, uh, uh, this is one of the complicated and one of the simpler, whatever that, the we can design whatever, if suppose we design a building, so for that particular building, we need the functions value. What are the function value? Which are the required by human being for their sustainability. So in a building, we want to design to fulfill the functions. So similarly, here, in case of the rubbers, in case of the synthetic rubber, we have a to design that particular rubber depends on the uh, well, uh, the what we need. So here the linear, all of you know about that linear, linear itself, uh, whatever the long chain polymer of the different monomers or uh, whatever the different uh, two monomers, two or more monomers. So AB and AB, so that is the linear one. If suppose in a monomer there is the branch, the example itself is the butylene. Butylene in which the isobutylene. Isobutylene, the four carbon atom, and here two double bonds are there. Uh, one double bond is there. So in case of the isobutylene, two methyl groups are arranged above and below. So that is the 
what we have the crossing so we have the design polymer where the molecular molecule in the form of the design and one more thing is the cross knitting why cross knitting as earlier we have discussed the rubber natural rubber in which sulfur are added as a cross knitting in between the two uh, uh, two atoms there is the knitting type and that becomes the like a cross where a well known example is the bakelite and here you can say the buna s styrene butadiene rubber so here uh, we can design styrene butadiene rubber is one of the best as additive at this moment so sbr rubber so those are one of the adhesive so adhesive the what is the reliability of filler adhesive to uh, attach with each others so here linear whatever the branched we have poly isobutylene and then the cross knitting the vulcanization the sulfur in between the molecule and this is because there is the double bond and between two and uh, two atoms uh, two carbon atom the sulfur is there so we can say uh, this one is the one of the classification and that can be utilized this is the body simple the ch2 double bond ch2 ethylene vinyl chloride then the propylene these are the well known to understand the structure of the rubber polyethylene polyvinyl chloride polypropylene whatever one two three here is one of the other one is the polystyrene so what about the styrene here ch2 double bond ch and c6 h5 the benzene ring where the carbon 6 hydrogen 6 so that one of hydrogen substituted by the vinyl group so this one structure itself is the ch2 uh, what we can ch2 double bond uh, ch and c6 h5 so that is the styrene so here styrene is the one of the structure in which uh, we can say the benzene ring and vinyl group is there so is polystyrene that is uh, the formation of, as a addition polymer addition polymerization process so one then linked with the another so styrene with this with, with another styrene and they linked and formation of whatever the uh, branched because branch is there and then so systematic arrangement of branch may be also there we suppose phenyl group the c6h5 group above or below so that will be the branch even uh, when we add uh, more into this and uh, this become the copolymer with the uh, whatever the ethylene so we get that particular uh, the differ the copolymer with the ethylene and polystyrene but in whatever in case of the rubber most important relevant is the two double bond alkadiene that is 1,3-butadiene so 1,3-butadiene CH2 double bond CH single bond CH double bond CH so 1,3-butadiene in that particular case reacts with the styrene and the formation of the synthetic rubber and that synthetic rubber is the uh, buna s that is styrene butadiene rubber so let's we have uh, this is the fundamental behind uh, we can say uh, the, uh, the polymers then we have the another part uh, so let's uh, uh, one of the this one and this is the polymer of the isoprene what about the isoprene two double bond where the ch2 double bond CH and the CH double bond CH2 but one uh, branch of branch is there so that is the 2 methyl 1,3 butadiene so this is undergo the process of the polymerization we get the two different types of polymer that is the stereo arrangement also whatever design design of a building design of a vehicle so we design of a spacecraft whatever we have design of artificial satellite design of aircraft so any of the design that is specific here the design and that is the polyisoprene 
So in case of the polyisoprene, this is the polymer of 2-methyl-1,3-butadiene. And what about the 2-methyl-1,3-butadiene? This one is present in the natural rubber as a monomer. So this monomer undergo the process of the polymerization. So this is the, the uh, chemical structure, the, the reactions, the how uh, natural rubber itself is formed. So that is because of the polymerization of 1,3-butadiene, but 1,3-butadiene uh, having one, the branch of the methyl group. So here CS3, this CS3 combined with uh, the 1,3-butadiene. So this undergo the process and what are the structure, what are the stereo calculations? So that particular, you can say, and uh, here, we get that particular uh, whatever uh, uh, that is the polymerization. So polymerization itself is one of the specific concern. So what we we can say that uh, different rubbers which are the polymer and pass on through the process of the polymerization. One three butadiene and he uh, two methyl one three butadiene undergo the process. So here two different types that systematic arrangement whatever the cis and trans geometrical isomerage so all of you know about the isomerage in which the specific is the geometrical isomerage so uh, we can say the design part is one of the important in all of the technology so what happened here uh, we can get the particular uh, one thing is the natural rubber where the cis arrangement of uh, that particular carbon double bond is there and uh, where the uh, substituent methyl group is in the cis position and that is the natural rubber. This one is the bash rubber as compared to the another design that is the gutta percha and here the trans, trans geometrical isomerism. So in case of the gutta percha, that one itself is a low grade rubber. So we get the systematic arrangement. So two different types of uh, rubbers. One is the bashed and another is not bashed. So gatta parcha, this is the trans arrangement of methyl group. So let's we have one of the important aspect and uh, definitely that particular important aspect itself is the arrangement of molecules. So polymerization or whatever the different uh, elastomers you can say this particular is most important concern. So now we can say uh, the other part of this and uh, uh, so let's we can say uh, this one is the uh, uh, whatever we can say the polymerization. Now uh, we can hear the same thing is there, but this is uh, more uh, specified. We can say here, all of you can see the 2-methyl, 1,3-butadiene, and uh, this one is changed into the natural rubber. That is the, uh, all of you are well known about the geometrical uh, issue, the geometric arrangement of methyl group, carbon double bond carbon, how this polymer form because of the backbone is 1,3-butadiene. So 1,3-butadiene undergo the process of the poly, but there is one of the methyl group. So that is how we have earlier discussed about the branched polymer. So here they with the branching, but branching is the arranged. So what are the, the in the another, another case the branch is not arranged so that is arranged but the it is the in transposition so we get the gutta barja and this is the trans 1 4 polymer polymer of isoprene so polyisoprene uh, two way the cis position methyl group or maybe the transposition of methyl group so this one is the specific one and here uh, what are all of you are well known about that the uh, there is the cis or cisoid form of the geometrical form so let's we have the very specific structures are arranged 
now this is one of the reaction in which uh, the earlier we have discussed and that is the uh, polymerization here uh, we can get uh, the two different things one is the natural polymer the polyisoprene uh, we can identify what is uh, so here uh, one thing is there so here polyisoprene is formed in another case one more uh, a polymerization and that is the 2 chloro 1 3 butadiene so you can say and this one is one of the specific arrangement and what about this this is the neoprene neoprene rubber so we can find out uh, we can get the information relevant where the carbon and ch3 group was there so the branching branching branch polymer here instead of ch3 we have substituted the chlorine the grade change in the polymer and at that moment the world second world war this polymer is one of the great polymer and that invented neoprene and this is still I have a great values in the different technology. So what we have, the neoprene, this is the polychloroprene. And chloroprene itself is the monomer unit where 1,3-butadiene and at the second carbon atom, chlorine is there, 1,3-butadiene and 2-chloro, 1,3-butadiene. The polymerization, we get the polymer and this is synthetic rubber containing the chlorine atom. What we have, if suppose we go, compare the CH3 methyl group and uh, then chloro group. So definitely uh, we have uh, certainly the uh, carbon uh, substituted by the chlorine. So electronegativity 0.1 in case of the carbon chlorine having the 3.5 so electron pair is attracted towards the chlorine so whatever that is because of the more electronegative as compared to the carbon so ch3 itself methyl substituted by chlorine so whatever um, one more thing is there chlorine having the uh, more of the atomic side so due to this particular fundamental chemistry, due to that of the atomic structure, due to the very fundamentally specific, and that we want to know the great value for that. So here, the neoprene rubber itself is obtained after the polymerization of the chloroprene. So polychloroprene uh, is obtained, and chloroprene like a isoprene, the difference between the chloroprene so here we get the synthetic rubber so neoprene is obtained in the form of the now we have the one of the great thing is there also the to get the durability of that particular any of the rubber we have to improve on the physical properties out of our this vulcanization was done in natural rubber the physical properties of uh, this can be heated with the sulfur and appropriate additives at the respective temperature then we get the sulfur forms a cross linking at the double bond why uh, to get the stiff here we get in the polymer the one in case of the we can show the neoprene so in neoprene the polymer of chloroprene and uh, here uh, the double bond is there so when sulfur is added then we get the crossing so carbon double bond carbon the breaking and in between that the sulfur is remain so here this process is the vulcanization of rubber now one more thing is there that is the buna as rubber so during world war the buna as rubber was also invented in this case this is the one of the copolymer polymerization copolymer earlier we have discussed the addition polymer regarding the uh, synthetic or natural rubber buna s S means the styrene and buna, whatever the word came at the second world war because one three butadiene undergo the process of the polymerization in presence of sodium. So sodium having the Na. So that's buna one three butadiene polymer and in that particular case that is the whatever we can say the 1,3-butadiene polymer, poly-1,3-butadiene, 
the reaction happened in sodium. So that's the Buna word came. Here, the copolymer of 1,3-butadiene and another molecule, another monomer, that is the styrene. So what about the styrene? That is the vinyl group. Vinyl group and one is the aromatic compound, that is the benzene. So benzene, aromatic compound where the uh, um, substituent are the vinyl group. So vinyl benzene, whatever uh, all of you are well known about the PVC and polyethylene. So the difference between the PVC and polyethylene that is so because of the uh, chlorine. So uh, similar with the vinyl group at that. Vinyl group is here the instead of chlorine here the attachment is the benzene ring. So we can say this particular uh, type of uh, the polymerization in which two monomers are there. So this one, one, then uh, A, B, if we have the A is the styrene and B is the 1,3-butadiene. So we can say the separately they get the 1,3-butadiene separately uh, polymer of the 1,3-butadiene poly 1, 3 butadiene and in case of the styrene the separately the polymer is the polystyrene so polystyrene and poly 1 3 butadiene those are in the separately as a addi addition polymer but here copolymer copolymer in which two or more monomers are there styrene butadiene this one so in case the a monomer styrene B monomer, 1,3-butadiene. And then the final answer, that is the inner state of addition. We get the copolymer. Copolymerization, the process in which two or different monomers undergo the process of the polymerization. So that is the copolymer. And process is the polymerization, but copolymerization. Co means the one who adds to that. So, uh, synthetic rubber, this was also invented during the Second World War. Synthetic rubber, the Buna S. This one is also called styrene butadiene rubber. So that is SBR. Great achievement for the SBR in the adhesive area. So different companies use styrene butadiene rubber latex. What about the latex? That is the liquid form. Latex itself, the milk of the rubber. So, styrene butadiene rubber is one of the ingredients in different artificial adhesives. Adhesives, role of adhesives are more in uh, adhesiveness of the two or more materials. So, for example, uh, different companies are using the adhesive uh, materials, and because when we have, we want to. Uh, address the two uh, different uh, matters, two different um, wood, uh, two different materials which are to be addressed. So for this purpose, styrene butadiene rubber, SBR rubber, the Buna as rubber is used. So here we get the, we can see the structure and uh, I can uh, is, uh, uh, see here, uh, whatever the uh, one thing, 1,3-butadiene, two double bonds. This one is the two double bond and where the delocalization of electron and the styrene where the part of the uh, ethylene and only the uh, ethylene is uh, one hydrogen substituted by the phenyl group. So that is the benzene and vinyl. So vinyl benzene, this is another answer, another uh, name, whatever that is also relevant. The vinyl benzene this is weird. so we get the is uh, such type of uh, whatever the buna s rubber now we can say we can uh, say the more elaboration more of the structure of the buna s synthetic rubber here one three butadiene undergo the process so in case of the one three butadiene because four uh, two double bonds are and then when the breakdown of the pi, two pi bonds, then four valencies are. But in that particular case, what happened? Uh, two valencies are linked with the, with the styrene 
and uh, one remain inside the double bond. So here the double bond is shifted at the two position of one three butadiene. So this one become a more and more and more specific material, and that one itself is the uh, one three butadiene and styrene. So let's we have the great value of these synthetic rubbers because they are useful in various technology. So I have uh, discussed about the, this one is the more uh, complicated uh, structure of the buna. Here we can uh, see what over the benzene ring and this become a more a stereo specific, more of design uh, molecule that, that is so yeah, specific how they get the different uh, the linkage and we get so where is the phenyl group where is the four phenyl group where is the one three butadiene so that is a like a very uh, networking networking like a, we have the networking we get the different files from the different species so that is the networking so similar to the computer networking here the networking of uh, one three butadiene with the styrene so ch2 double bond ch2 that is the part of the styrene so uh, whereas one three butadiene that is the uh, second point so uh, we can see so one side this is the one three butadiene uh, attached with the uh, styrene in the another uh, the styrene is there but in the third one third benzene then we get the so that is very complicated and we can get the very specific structure and that is what we can say as the buna has. So copolymer, the well-known 1,3-butadiene and styrene, good substitute for natural rubber, used for even the footwear component and cable insulator. So whatever the property, electrical property, whatever we can go towards the footwear also and uh, insulator one of the requirement for any of the electrical engineering electrical uh, science electrical technology electrical science electrical technology we need the material and which is given by the chemist which is given by the chemistry which is given by the um, different poly polymers and specified so here uh, cable insulator insulation is most important part of the uh, whatever the part of the electrical so insulator have the great role that is the so here uh, whatever the more structure will be there and styrene butadiene rubber latex whatever i have discussed then here uh, something more additives are added silicon oxide soul is added so uh, we get to the we are rubber and then uh, steering then we get the silicon so gel composites, whatever, than the solid composites. So this is very technology. Get the silicon oxide is very advanced technology. And this is, so we have, can correlate any of the advanced technology. Uh, certainly the chemistry, the chemicals, the, the structure, they are the bonding, the processing, ah, those are the important aspects for that. So, so we get the styrene butadiene rubber in the form of the solid. So how we got this is because of the chemistry, because of the chemical transformation, because of the chemical theory of bonding, because of the fundamentals, fundamentals behind the periodic table where the different uh, elements are arranged. So that is arrangement is were miracle in the periodic table. How they can be arranged. So silicon oxide as we are. So <coughs> Various additives are added, and uh, so because of that particular, we get you can see the SBR. And here the SBR latex. This is well known in the different stationary adhesives or whatever in the wood adhesive, different adhesives. Styrene butadiene latex is there. So here uh, styrene butadiene in, that is con converted into the gel composite, and further. The gel composites on under the uh, drying process, then we get the solid one. So the solid itself is obtained by the uh, two materials when undergo the process of the adhesion. So during the adhesion, required material itself is the 
it, in this example, we have the elastomer, we have the synthetic rubber, and that is styrene butadiene rubber latex. So here we get the gel, and finally we get the compote. So here one more thing is there, and that is the copolymerization of the uh, one three butadiene with uh, acrylonitrile. Acrylonitrile cyanide group is there. So this is another synthetic polymers in this particular case buna n 13 butadiene and this combined with the uh, uh, acrylo nitrile this one ch2 double bond ch or vinyl group vinyl cyanide so this one is the copolymerization and go the process is specific rubber is obtained so this is the synthetic rubber of the so here are the one of the, so many questions. Whatever, if suppose we have to go to the polymers to give the structure name of polymer of the following addition. A give one use of that te Teflon. Whatever the Teflon, this is the polymer and relevance with the the structural polymer of the ethylene. So where in case of the ethylene, four hydrogen are substituted by the fluorine teflon one of the heat resisting polymer bunas we have already discussed the styrene butadiene rubber the natural rubber this is the polyisoprene then buna n whatever we can hear uh, the last one we had discussed one three butadiene copolymer with the vinyl cyanide that is acrylonitrile that is the cyanide acrylonitrile and PVC this is already discussed in many of the uh, times and here also the PVC itself this is the polymer of the polyvinyl chloride what is me vulcanization of rubber that is also the systematic uh, the uh, reaction of uh, those natural those rubbers with the help of the sulfur the treatment of those so sulfur came in between the two whatever if suppose buna n is there here we can say the in case of the buna s polymer here the double bond so even sulfur is added so double bond is uh, added and as a cross linking agent uh, so this one today is the discussion the synthetic polymers the whatever the synthetic rubber various rubbers are discussed including the natural rubber the buna s buna n and then the we have the one of that is the sbr buna s then nitrile rubber the buna n and one more that was also discussed polychloroprene and that is the buna n so this is all about and you can uh, all are welcome to for any of the more discussion so that is all about the today's lecture. I think uh, all of you have enjoyed with this presentation and get you know with get something more relevant with the new technology. Okay, all the best, best wishes for the success. So we have this is presentation for the synthetic rubber.